All right, so you said you'll have a transaction table with a lot of different transaction fields. Uh, mine's a lot smaller, uh, but you wanted to be able to find the sum of, say, your interest, interest payments, right? Um, so how do we do that in the API? So we can go to a query all records function and very easily do that from there. Um, so for example, if we click on the function and jump to the output tab, um, right now you can see I've got that set up, but let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So typically you'll see uh, this, okay? So how do we actually find uh, the sum of uh, our interest? What we can do is we can, on the output tab, click on the return, the return type aggregate, and we can go ahead and add an aggregated by, and we can select our interest, and we can name this field maybe uh, sum of interest. And when we choose an aggregator, we have access to all these different aggregators. We can go ahead and choose the sum, and it'll sum up all of those fields and return it. So we'll save this, I'll save the query, um, and now when we go to run that, we'll see the sum of interest is 118. Um, let's just double check that in the database. So we have 5, 10, 15, 115, 118. So there you go.